Hey, what's going on everybody? Last night I uh, saw Dr. Seuss's The Lorax and um, you know as a kid I uh, always got this book confused with uh, Horton Hears a Who for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I was little and basically my favorite Dr. Seuss story was Green Eggs and Ham and uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. For some reason Horton and Lorax always kind of crisscross with me. Uh, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, the Lorax, the movie, is about a town that uh, is basically artificial and highly polluted thanks to the control of a uh, small, evil, wealthy uh, businessman. And in this town there's a boy who uh, has a crush on a girl, so he does anything he can to, to get close to the girl, like throw balls in her backyard just to go in the house and see her to go get it. And uh, after pulling another stunt uh, of that kind, he uh, goes to the backyard and noticing that she is very into trees. Uh, trees being uh, non-existent in this town uh, for a long time. Uh, so he will do anything he can to impress this girl. So he uh, goes out of town and seeks uh, the Wantsler, who uh, shares the secret of how all the trees disappeared. Uh, and within this story, the Wantsler tells... Uh, about an ambitious young man who was looking to uh, start a business for himself. So he ends up chopping down a tree that's summoning the mystical guardian of the forest, the Lorax. Now, uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought the animation was great and 3D with it. Yes, I did see it in 3D. And I thought the uh, 3D was amazing. The 3D is amazing with all animated movies. I don't know how you can complain about uh 3D not being cool when it comes to animation, but uh, this was uh, this was one of those examples where it was a fun movie. It was just fun. Uh, even if it wasn't in 3D, it would still be a fun movie. Uh, the movie was uh, brought to you by the same people that uh, gave you uh, Despicable Me, and I have to say the voice talents in this movie uh, were amazing. Uh, well, well, some were amazing, some were, well, they're just voice talents, but still I, I enjoyed uh I enjoyed the movie and I enjoyed the voice talents. Uh, you had uh, Zac Efron uh, played the uh, boy who was trying to impress uh, the girl voiced by Taylor Swift. And uh, you had Ed Helms uh, who from The Office who plays uh, the Nard Dog, Andy Bernard. And you also know him from the Hangover movies. Let's face it, you know who Ed Helms is. He uh, does the voices of the Wunzler who uh, basically I remember <laughs> in the book uh, the Wunstler's, uh, the Wunstler's long green gloves always uh, reminded me of the Grinch for some reason. Another uh, crisscross Dr. Seuss reference uh, from my blurry childhood. Well, ch I remember our childhood. It just it comes blurry when it comes to Dr. Seuss books. But uh, Ed Helms uh, is great in this movie. He even shares his uh, singing talent, which is more than what he does in the office with his. -doo 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 -doo. He does more uh, actual good singing in this movie and the musical numbers are are awesome uh with a lot of male high falsettos uh yeah but uh yeah the musical numbers are awesome it really gets you into things it's a fun movie uh, and and i can't go without mentioning the lorax himself danny devito you couldn't pick a better person to do the voice of the Lorax. And it's hard to say with Lorax without sounding like Danny DeVito without saying the Lorax. I always want to do a Danny DeVito voice when I say the Lorax. But yeah, he was awesome in this. And like I said, you couldn't have picked a better person to voice this little creature, the Lorax, than Danny DeVito. And uh, I will say, I, will, I am glad Dr. Seuss uh, went the animation route. Uh, I was never a big fan of how the Grinch stole Christmas, the live action movie, never saw the cat in the hat. Uh, they did Horton Here's a Who and animate and the uh, animation. I'm pointing up there because I borrowed that movie from my lady. She actually owns that movie, and um, I watched it not too long ago. I wasn't a big fan, but I have to say this was probably the Lorax was probably my favorite uh, Dr. Seuss uh, adaptation. And you know, and if this wasn't live action, I would have liked to have seen what Danny DeVito looked like in in a orange getup as the Lorax. Uh, the, the movie also teaches you a good message how you, you can do anything to improve your situation. If something's not right, you can do something about it. And uh, there's also, uh, not to spoil anything, but you know what, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to, I feel like sometimes I ramble on too much and I'm not going to say anything, but you'll see them, you'll get the message. The message is awesome in this movie. Uh, and yeah, you'll, you'll have a good time. And I can't also got to mention, uh, Rob Riggle, uh, 
plays the evil uh, businessman. And for some reason, I guess they designed his character to look like a miniature form of uh, Moe from the Three Stooges. <laughs> it was it was really weird. Uh, and it was funny to see, too. Uh, and the bears kind of remind me of Ewoks. Uh, they're cute and adorable. And don't judge me for that. I like the Ewoks. I'm sorry, folks. But, you know, I have to say, the little bear reminded me of Wicked the Ewok. Uh, go see Danny DeVito as the Lorax. Go see the Lorax. It's a fun movie for all. Uh, if it, Yeah, it's a fun movie. You'll enjoy it. I recommend going to pay full price to see this movie. Don't hold out for DVD. Uh, you're going to like it. Uh, and which uh, brings me to this. Uh, if you stumble across this video... And if you like it, I got a question for you. You might want to answer, what Dr. Seuss adaptation do you want to see next? I would like to see Green Eggs and Ham, but I almost, I don't know if I want to see it uh, adapted live action or animation like uh, the Lorax here. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, Yertle, Yertle the Turtle, sorry. Yertle the Turtle or Green Eggs and Ham. What do you think would be a great uh, Dr. Seuss adaptation uh, that we haven't seen yet? So uh, let me know, and if you're feeling uh, feeling froggy, you might want to see more videos that's coming up. And if you stumble across this video drunkenly, subscribe. Uh, you might like something. So anyway, until next time, folks, go see the Lorax. I'll catch you later. Bye.